Hello, and welcome to Get the Most Out of AWS reInvent 2023. Today's webinar is sponsored by Veeam and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Scott Becker. I'm from Actual Tech Media, and I'm excited to be your moderator for this special event. Now, before we get to today's session, we do have a few housekeeping items that will help you get the most out of this event. First off, we want this to be an informative event for you, so we encourage any questions in the questions box in your webinar control panel. Not only will we have team members responding to questions during the live event, but we'll also have a dedicated Q&A session at the end of the presentation where we'll discuss in greater detail some of the top questions that you ask. The Q&A panel is also the place to let us know about any technical issues that you might be experiencing. A browser refresh will fix most audio, video, or slide advancement issues, but if that doesn't work, just let us know in the Q&A and we'll provide further technical assistance. Second, in the handout section of your webinar control panel, you'll find that we're offering a lot of resources. I'd especially like to call your attention to a bunch here from Veeam. There's 10 best practices for AWS backup. There's a link for AWS cost optimization. There's a link for choosing the best AWS backup and recovery solution. And then really relevant to today, there's a, a, a link to, uh, to meet Veeam at AWS reInvent. And there's a link for uh, a, a, a Veeam event um, at, at AWS. Now, at the end of this webinar event, we'll be awarding a $250 Amazon gift card to one lucky registrant. Of course, you must be in attendance during the live event to qualify for that prize. Official terms and conditions of today's prize drawing can be found in the handout section. Just scroll to the bottom and you'll find the prize terms and conditions link there. And finally, one of the best benefits of this event is the opportunity to ask a question of our expert presenters. So to help encourage your questions, we have a special additional prize for you. That's another Amazon gift card, this one for $50 for the best question. After the event is over, we'll look at all the questions that came in, pick out the very best one, and contact that prize winner. Okay, with all that housekeeping out of the way, let's get to today's fantastic content. So it's my pleasure to introduce our presenters today. We have uh, Kelsey Teske, who's Product Marketing Manager at Veeam, and we have Julia First Morgado, who's a product, tech, uh, product Strategy Technologist at Veeam. So Kelsey and Julia, welcome. Hi, Scott. Thank you for having us today. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. Kelsey, I'll turn things over to you to uh, take it away. All right. Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar today. We're gonna to talk about this year's AWS reInvent. This webinar is being recorded so you can share and revisit it later on. We'll share it with you in a few days. As well as we like to keep our webinars as interactive as possible, especially with this because we're talking about an event. So please write in your questions and we will either answer them in the webinar or as a follow-up email. So today, like I said, we're gonna be talking about AWS reInvent, all things happening. Because if you know about reInvent, you know it is a major event that just takes over Las Vegas. And we're also gonna talk about what Veeam does at reInvent. So we'll go over the high level overview of the sessions, the keynote sessions, and any events that you can attend that Veeam is putting on. Plus at the end of the webinar, Julia will be giving you a sneak peek at some of our announcements that is coming out. So I would like to see who in the audience is attending reInvent. You can answer in the poll that is on your screen. Okay, so it looks like a few of you are, and some of you are still deciding if you're attending reInvent. So if I may first... add, yeah, sorry, yeah. but it, this webinar will be helpful even for those that aren't attending, because uh, we're sharing great tips also if you are attending like in the in the next year, but also like great, great things about Veeam that Veeam is, is doing. So uh, yeah, even if you're not attending, uh, I'm glad we're you're all here. Exactly. And also there is a virtual option for the reInvent that is for free. But for those of you who do not know what reInvent is, it is AWS's yearly event focused on the cloud. So cloud enthusiasts from all over come to learn, connect, and hear about the latest AWS innovations. 
and it's held at the last week of November of in Las Vegas. So who is it for? Like I said, it's for any cloud enthusiast. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner in the cloud or an expert, there's something there for you. There's workshops led by AWS employees, teach, teach you how to utilize features within AWS. And if you're an executive, you're able to go and attend and talk with AWS employees about how to improve your cloud environment with AWS. And then, like I mentioned, there's a virtual pass. For instance, I myself is not are not attending this year, so the virtual pass will allow me to see all the keynote speeches, as well as their innovation talks, and then some selected on-demand content once it is over. So I won't be able to attend the whole event. However, I'll still be able to be a part of reInvent and learn what is happening in the future. And with my role at Veeam, I am a product marketing manager focused on the cloud, specifically reInvent. So I've been going through their sessions, going through their keynotes um, summaries to really get an understanding as what they're going out and talking about this year. And I pull out the top three topics with number one being AI, which should be no surprise to anyone if you have attended any of their summits this year. The AI has been a major focus for AWS. It's in fact, it's even in the top three keynote sessions out of five. Another focus is of course cloud and AWS plans on innovation for the future. Many of the keynotes talk about how to build a resilient and cost aware architecture within AWS. However, I really think I could have made this cloud slash cost efficiency because many of their sessions talk about how to save their customers money because we all know that budgets have been a real big focus, especially cloud spend this year. And lastly, security is top of mind for everyone, since it feels like every week or every day, there's some sort of data breach in an enterprise company out here. And since businesses really have to make sure that their environments are secure and their backups are done properly in case they are hit by a cyber attack or a ransomware attack, it only takes one attempt to be successful. And we all know what happened to the MGM in Vegas a few months ago. That one mistake resulted in a data breach and millions of dollars lost. So these are the three main focuses that I pulled out from their keynotes and their sessions. So who are their keynote speakers? AWS has lined up some amazing speakers to discuss their innovations, future developments, and of course, AI and machine learning. You will not want to miss AWS's CEO, Adam Selensky. His session is Tuesday morning, so the very first keynote session. And he'll be going over cloud transformation, AI, machine learning, and how these features are helping their customers. Because as you know, the cloud is rapidly changing every day, every year. Then on Monday night, there is Peter DeSantis. He is the Senior Vice President of AWS Utility Computing, and he will be speaking during the Monday Night Live session. Here you'll be getting a deep dive into the engineering side of AWS and how AWS's culture for innovation keeps them on the leading edge of cloud computing. So if you are on the more technical side of the cloud, this session will be for you. And then Wednesday are the sessions that I'm really interested in. The first one in the morning, we'll be going over AI and how it relates to our world. Dr. Swami Shiva Shubhaniam, Vice President of Data and AI, will be going over generative AI applications that your company can use and build to help improve your productivity. There is so much to learn about AI and how AWS can help you utilize it and improve your business efficiency. Plus, I'm interested in hearing how Booking.com is utilizing it. They are the customer that, that, that's being featured in his session. And then later on, since Veeam is a partner with AWS, Dr. Ruba Borno is the Vice President of AWS Worldwide Channels and Alliances. She will be diving into how AWS and their partners are putting their customers first. If you are a partner of AWS, this session should be particularly interesting since we will hear more from partners and customers and how AWS is improving their digital experience for us. And then lastly, another technical session will be Thursday morning by Dr. Werner Vogels, Amazon's.com VP and CTO. He'll be going over the best practices for designing a resilient and cost-effective architecture for your cloud. 
And again, AI is in his session. So that right there is just three fact, three instances that AI is going to be in their sessions. And it might still be in the other two. They just were not in the descriptions. So like I said, Veeam is a partner of AWS. So how do we work with AWS and how can we help you back up your data? Many people know us from VMware and on-premise backup, but we can do much more than that. We help businesses in backing up not only their on-prem workloads, but we can also do public clouds. So Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. As long, and we can do backup as a service. So Microsoft 365 and our Salesforce. We help you unify your data protection into a centralized platform so it can be simply managed and cost-effective. Because we all know it's a challenge handling multiple point products. If you have to go into Azure to back up your data, then log into AWS with Veeam, you can do it all from one console. That is purpose-built solution and custom made for your organization. Plus having the centralized platform to manage all of your data helps with staying within compliance and governance. With Veeam, you'll get automated schedule reporting and you'll be able to monitor your data, like I said, from that one centralized platform. So here is a diagram to show how we do more than just VMware or on-premises. We really truly are hybrid multi-cloud. So here are the three pillars that Veeam focuses on in the cloud, and they're similar to what you can see from the three focuses at AWS reInvent. Layered security, rapid recovery, and cloud efficiency. Security is a focus for us because it only takes one mistake for a bad actor to be successful, like I mentioned with MGM or any other story lately. That is why you have to be right 100% of the time. And although Veeam is not a security company, we are here to help you to make sure that the environment that you design for your backups has all the security features that AWS has in place to make sure that you are protected. Now, mistakes happen. So when they do happen, you need rapid and reliable recovery. You need to be able to recover your data quickly and undamaged, especially if it's a mission critical data set that you need sooner rather than later. And that is where we can help. With Veeam, you can recover full instances or at a granular level, both within and outside of AWS. Since as you saw in the previous slide, we handle all the cloud platforms. And the final one is cloud efficiency. Budgets and managing costs have been a focus this year and spending in the cloud is no different. According to the 2023 Flexera report, no matter the size of the business, controlling cloud spend was the number one focus for businesses this year. A major part of cloud spend is backups because many organizations need to store copies of large data sets for a long period of time. However, they cannot hurt the integrity of the data or weaken the security in order to save money. That is why setting up an architecture from the beginning that focuses on both security and cost efficiency is critical. Plus, with the money you're able to save, you can then reinvest it into more innovative projects, which is AI, as you can see AWS is talking all about. So irrespective of which service or services you are looking to protect, Veeam will always deliver across these three pillars, layered security for your backups, rapid recovery, all be while being efficient in the cloud. So let's dive into a little bit more of these three pillars, and then Julia will be giving a sneak peek into our announcements. Backup should be a part of any robust security strategy. And to do that right, you need to adhere to the well-architectured frameworks that utilize these parts. And as we have seen, AWS has been talking more and more about the AWS shared responsibility model because they are responsible for the data centers and protecting them. However, the users, the businesses are responsible for protecting their data sets and implementing the features that AWS have to offer. So that means logical separation. By leveraging AWS accounts as security boundaries, 
to isolate your backup data from production. So if production is compromised, the backup will remain untouched. This is crucial for when it comes to recovery that you have the integrity of your data in place. And of course, we must be regulating access between these accounts, so secure access. And we can do this through AWS IAM roles. We should always entitle people and technologies with the minimum amount of privileges required to do a task. Not everyone in your organization needs to have access to all of your data sets. Only those who really need those data sets to function in their position should have access. And finally, maintaining your data integrity what through immutability and encryption. Immutability helps ensure your backup data is in a worm state to prevent it from being encrypted, overwritten, or deleted. Veeam will also encrypt your backups by way of AWS KMS to also hinder data theft and exfiltration attempts. So we really utilize the AWS features that are there to secure your backup. As you can see with this Penske quote, how we send the backup copies to AWS S3 for immutability, boosting ransomware protection, and ensuring that data is available when they want it and where they want it. Then we have fast and reliable recovery, because what's the point of backing up your data if you cannot retrieve it when you need it? It is just as important as setting up a, a solid backup strategy. And at Veeam, we understand that, which is why we make sure that you can recover your data how and whenever you want, because at the, end of the, at the end of the day, it is your data. So whether you need to recover full instances or individual files, we are there to help because we know that it can be costly if you have to recover a full instance when you really just need a file. So that's why we get really down into that granular level. So that way you can resume work quickly and without it costing more than it needs to be. And then whether you need to recover it from a human error, cyber attack, or even a data center outage, because we all know that AWS or other cloud providers have, have had server outages. And we can help you recover both within an AWS if that happens. So that is how we do the hybrid and the multi-cloud for you, or even if you just want to recover from one data center to the next within AWS. And all this is achievable because of our simplified recovery. With our easy automated processes, you will be able to restore data and operator roles smoothly. There should be no, no delay in your recovery if it's set up right. Like this other Penske quote that we have, it used to take them over 24 hours to, or sorry, up to, 24 hours to recover their critical data before. And now with us, with Veeam, it only takes minutes. Imagine needing your critical data in order for your business to function and you had to wait a whole day. That, that is just unacceptable. So make sure that you really set up your data and your cloud environment in a way where you can recover the data that is most critical when you need it. And then lastly, we have cloud efficiency to make sure that you are hybrid and multi-cloud ready. Because we don't want you to have to compromise on a key feature that you want just to have another feature available. We know that it is your data and you want to set it up the way you want to set it up in a comprehensive backup strategy. So with our centralized backup, one platform, like I've been talking about, you're able to manage multiple point products from one location. And here you're able to monitor them all and get scheduled reporting out to still be in compliance and governance for when those reports are needed. Plus this frees up your time because through automating anything that you're able to, you're able to work on other projects because we all know that backup is not the most exciting part of your job. So if you're able to free up your time and focus on other parts, that would make your workplace a much better environment. And another great feature is cost optimization. By setting up backup life cycles and compressing your image level backups, you can lower your total cost without compromising on performance, retention, or compliance. Plus we have that cost calculator built into our software so it will help you avoid bill shock. That way you are properly planning throughout the months or even the year and you will not get some crazy bill at the end. 
And lastly, for those of you who are not in AWS and really have that hybrid or multi-cloud environment, with our RESTful APIs and integration with Veeam Backup and Replication, you can have operational consistency and efficiency across your hybrid and multi-cloud. That is what we're really here for, to make sure that you have the cloud environment that you want and you're not just stuck using one point product. And this quote right here by Seahawks Health, Robbie Hudak, who's the CISO there, really emphasizes how we are there for your hybrid and multi-cloud environment. Because Veeam doesn't care where your data resides or what hardware you use. It provides outstanding protection regardless. We knew that Veeam was an ideal choice for our diverse technology landscapes and that it would support us however we choose to evolve in the future. It ticks the boxes for flexibility and affordability. So that way, if you wanna be in just two clouds currently, but you're looking to migrate into three or you're trying to move all your data back onto on-premise, we are there to help you. As she said, check. it ticks the boxes for flexibility and affordability. So if you're wanting to learn more about Veeam, you can come find us at booth 1450 in the expo. And for those of you who haven't been to reInvent, the expo is rather large. So we made this diagram for you. We're in the data zone right on the edge of the security zone. And then if you're not able to attend and you are going virtually, we did add the link. It is labeled meet us at AWS reInvent. And you can schedule a meeting with our cloud consultation specialist. And whether you're doing it in person or virtually, we're happy to talk to you about how to keep your business running, whether you're cloud native or hybrid multi-cloud. Additionally, at reInvent, like I mentioned, there is so much going on. I think I was even on a parties page and there's like a tattoo section at reInvent and piercing. So yeah. it's not <laughs> That's that's <laughs> yeah, so there's not just one, it's not just cloud focus. And that is why Veeam is hosting our Super Cyberdelic Shindig. It's on Wednesday, November 30th at the Super Frico location in the Cosmopolitan Hotel from 8 to 11 p.m. We would love to see you all there and to enjoy the night. And space is limited, so please make sure to register and to show up. That way you can get in. Yeah, if you're interested in, in joining us at the party, feel free to reach out to us and uh, we'll send you the link where you can register. Oh, yes. And the link is also in the handouts. Thank you, Julia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, it's under Veeam Super Cyberdelic Shindig at AWS reInvent. It should be really good. That location has been yeah, I being saw. talked about a lot. But if you want to learn more about Veeam in a different setting, then we have three sessions at reInvent, one on each day, thankfully. So besides using the link that says meet us at reInvent to see when our sessions are, you can also go to the AWS reInvent page and type in Veeam as it is shown up there in the search bar. And it shows you these three. And then the fourth one is a recording or semi-cast for those who are not there in person. with the first one actually being a presentation with both 1111 systems and AWS along with us. So this one is actually taking place in the expo hall in the security zone. In here, we will be discussing how your business can become resilient and you can simplify your management through our three services to really make sure that you're getting the expert environment being created for you in the time. Because we all know that everyone knows what, how to function, they're great in their job, but maybe they're not communicating. So with Veeam 1111 and AWS, we're there to help you to make sure the synergies are in place. And then on Wednesday, we have a presentation with Michael Kate and Mark Severson, and they're focused on everything Kubernetes and casting K10. They'll be discussing how your business can become resilient and you can simplify your management through them. 
through K10 enhances Kubernetes and AWS, all while improving application resilience and securing and while scaling your environment. And then yeah. our last session, Julia is My actually... session, yes. <laughs> Hi, everyone yeah. here, it's Julia. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm also an AWS community builder. So uh, reInvent is the conference I've been looking for throughout the year. I'm really excited. And if you're going to be there, I, I would love to meet you. But uh, yeah, like uh, Kelsey said, there will be some sessions. And I'm going to be presenting with my colleague Michael there. Be uh, there are a lot of cool sessions, but I think this one will be very interesting. It will be a breakout session that will focus mostly on architecture and security. So we'll explore uh, the seven AWS R's for migration, which are relocate, rehost, replatform, repurchase, refactor, retain, and retire. And we're also adding three new ones that we feel like are very important when moving to the cloud, which are responsibility, replication, and recovery. So we'll, we'll dive into AWS strategies and best practices that are key when securely integrating applications into the cloud. So if you're deciding to move to the cloud or if you're already in the cloud, but you're not sure how to, to manage your applications, it would be a great, this will be a great session for you because it's essential to have a handle on these, these aspects uh, for a seamless cloud transition. So after this, now I'm going to talk to you a little bit of the cool features coming up with Vim 12.1. Uh, besides being a, a single pane of glass, so you can do everything from one interface and you can manage if you're a multi-cloud or if you're hybrid cloud, you can do that everything uh, from one interface. We're also enhancing some security features and adding support to even more workloads on AWS. So the first one is uh, AWS S3 Backup. Now we're supporting the ability to backup your S3 buckets. So you can perform backup and restore operations on the objects, uh, either files, data, etc. All of them stored within your Amazon S3 buckets. And this is great because Amazon S3 is one of the most used storage services for its cost effective and have high availability features. After that, we are also expanding our RDS backup functionality. RDS is one of the most popular services in AWS. Some use cases are e-commerce applications, uh, mobile and online gaming, web and mobile applications as well. And now you can perform image level backups. So true backup, not just snapshots for your Postgres Amazon RDS instances and securely store them in an Amazon S3 bucket with immutability. So you, you, you use that S3 object lock native API to place your data into a warm state, which is a write once, read many, and no one can touch it. No one can modify it. No one can delete it. No one can encrypt it. And this is amazing against ransomware. We've been seeing that uh, these cyber attacks are becoming more sophisticated and they're targeting backups now. So you you need to have your your backups immutable. And uh, we, we have this with the native uh, S3 API. And there is no additional licensing required, and it's built in the current RDS policy. Also, the data is stored in a native Vim format, which gives you the data portability that you can move if you decide you want to go to another type of database. And uh, you can also perform instance restore full database or individual database restore to the same location or to another location. Additionally, uh, we have seamlessly added DynamoDB support, facilitating efficient data backups and full table restores. DynamoDB is a highly scalable and highly available table-based, fully managed, serverless, 
key value NoSQL database. It's very popular in enterprises mostly that have uh, large volumes of data and have high traffic loads with low latency. So some companies that use DynamoDB, for example, are Netflix, Duolingo, GE Healthcare, etc. And how will this backup work? Well, it's going to be similar to our other services. You, you'll have the ability to perform backups and backup copy jobs to another region uh, of your DynamoDB tables. And the data will be stored in AWS backup vaults. So similar to our EFS backup. And then you can restore them to the same or to another location without uh, any performance impacts on your applications. And you can also, if you want to save on, on costs, you can also archive the backups into cold storage. So some other cool updates and enhancements. You can uh, now operate in private environments. This is something uh, we've done to address security concerns in environments with restricted public access. Uh, we're introducing this private deployment mode, which is designed to align with organization's security policies. It was a requested feature, especially for companies that need to meet compliance requirements and maintain a high level of data security. So basically, you have the ability to disable public connectivity to and from your backup appliance and backup and transfer your data to S3 over private VPC endpoints. And it also applies to the VBR integration. So the Vim Backup for AWS integration with VBR, you can also do that over uh, private um, endpoints. We will also uh, continuing with the security enhancements you now will have more granular control over the IAM role actions that uh, you can perform. So you can select only the permissions that uh, IAM roles require, similar to RBAC. So let's say, for instance, you have, you have some database administrators uh, that have an IAM role and they need to perform backups. Uh, they should only be able, able to manage databases, not, nothing else, no, no EC2s, etc. So you can do that. You can give just those controls for them to perform the jobs on the databases. Um, so there won't, uh, there, the, the God mode account, it will still exist if you want to give access to everything but we have these granular uh, permissions as well. And it gives uh, your company maximum flexibility and security. So enterprises and even service providers, they can now create multiple accounts for managed companies or departments and assign uh, granular controls. And uh, a caveat, this also really helps with the principle of least privilege, which is a fundamental tenet of a zero trust security strategy to protect against cyber attacks and uh, ransomware especially. So what does it mean? Yeah, users, applications and services, they only have to receive the necessary permissions to perform their role and no more. So uh, we're, we're really helping with that. What else? We're also supporting uh, now standard accelerated retrieval from Glacier Storage. This is a new feature introduced by AWS recently. And uh, as the name says, it gives you the ability to improve the retrieval speed of data from Glacier Storage to perform faster restores. You also will have now the ability to assign predefined or custom tags to your workers which gives better compliance with security posture policies, sorry. So assign custom tags to all resources based on your internal policies. It really helps with billing because it gives the ability to track the compute resource usage based on tags for, for custom billing. And it helps with monitoring as well. Uh, so benefiting from the tags, uh, you can put that on a third party software monitoring and, you know, keep track of all of all of, all of that. Uh, it's not on the slides, but we're also going to start supporting EFS Elastic Truthput, which gives more dynamic flow and uh, more speed for processing the data and uh, more speed for backup jobs. Uh, 
and plus some general general scalability enhancements and other enhance, enhancements that you can read on our release notes. All these enhancements, they exemplify Veeam's unwavering commitment to delivering everyone a comprehensive, secure, and tailored solution that aligns perfectly with their involving cloud backup needs across all these dynamic landscapes. So uh, this was, uh, you know, most of, of the presentation, but before I, I, I um, end here, I just want to give some high level tips on how to enjoy your reInvent. I would tell you, you know, plan your sessions ahead, choose them, uh, go over the sessions. Uh, Kelsey, she showed on uh, where you should go. You can uh, choose by keyword or by the company name and uh, reserve some of them. You need to make a reservation um, if you want to attend because they get full and I mean really full. There are walk up lines insane. And uh, if you don't make a reservation, you'll probably have to wait two hours to get there. Uh, but also at the same time, don't overbook your sessions, you know, leave some uh, leeway so you can meet people and walk around and, and talk to the companies. Um, leave enough time also between sessions because it's across several hotels in Las Vegas and usually you have to be at the session in time. So plan, plan uh, also plenty of time for transportation between the hotels if you're walking, etc. Also, this is a big one. Visit the Expo Hall. Come visit our booth. Uh, Kelsey said the number is 1450 and uh, we, we would love to meet you and talk more about data protection. As an AWS community builder, I would love also to talk to you about the AWS community and how you can get involved there. And uh, take the opportunity at reInvent to learn, but also to build relationships, you know, network with uh, other professionals, uh, people in your industry, and also software vendors. You, you never know what tools they have, what might help in your environment. And lastly, this is the big one, biggest one is have fun. Uh, there are many uh, activities for you to learn, but also a lot of fun activities like uh, Deep Racer League, there is a game championship, there is AWS game day. So take advantage of, of all of that. There will be even tattoos and piercing there if, you, if you're interested in that. But, you know, have fun. It's a great time that AWS is putting for you to learn and meet people. So, and I hope to see you there. Feel free to connect with us before and uh, stop by our booth as well. Let's see, I don't know if we have questions, but if we, we can also answer them, we'll send out an email answering all of, of the questions, because I think we're running out of time. Yes. Yeah, we've, we've got a couple of questions here we can, uh, we can just jump into. Um, one, uh, David says he's going to be at, at reInvent uh, and is wondering if you guys know your, your booth number already. Yes, so 1450. One four five zero. Fourteen fifty. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, another question here. What's the best day to come by the Veeam booth? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> come every day. <laughs> we'll be there. Come say hi every day. You'll get some swag. And uh, no, I'm joking, but I don't think there is a, a best day, right, Kelsey? No, any day, honestly, yeah. when you walk through the expo hall. There'll be people there. Bring your there. friends, yeah, bring your colleagues, come say hi to us. We can win some prizes, and we mm -hmm. even have Anders, the magician, there. Oh, to be just <laughs> um, any, any tips about the party? What, what was it, the super cyberdelic shindig? Yes, nothing particular, just if you are free and available, try to attend. It should be a lot of fun. That location in the restaurant has been getting a lot of hype and noise about it. So yeah, I saw in the description. I, I read, it was described as yeah, one of the very most Instagrammable. Places. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. It will be fun. Excellent. Um, we did have a question here from from Paul, just uh, just about AWS reInvent generally. Uh, Paul's wondering what makes um, reInvent particularly interesting or valuable. 
I would say AWS is uh, one of the biggest cloud providers. Uh, it's very powerful. And they put in this event every year to give you the latest and newest releases and, and you know, help you network with peers. So, and there are so many things going on in reInvent. I think it's just valuable to be there, meet people in person, because you can't really get that online. So, you know, besides learning, having the opportunity to ask questions to uh, AWS employees, you can also learn from other companies. What are they doing? Do they have a similar environment as yours? You know, can learn from others is, is very helpful there. Okay. Yeah, I right. think to, to echo Julia, the sessions are valuable, but I think what I get the most when I attend reInvent is talking to the community. So whether that's me with my Veeam hat on talking to customers or potential customers, or that's just me talking with other AWS employees or people around the event. I think just really hearing how they use AWS, how they were able to improve their business with through AWS, or even what they are lacking. And if Veeam is able to fill that gap. I think just those organic conversations are the best way. And also okay. the workshops. I, I do enjoy those workshops mm -hmm. and learning more. Excellent, excellent. Um, yeah, and just a quick reminder to everybody about the, the handout resources. There's there's a landing page about, about Veeam at, uh, at reInvent where you can get information um, about that. There's also the, the page for the uh, for the party and then um, some some other valuable resources in there as well um, just as a you know we probably got time for one more question just you know what's what's the best way to to sort of learn about the the veeam products before uh, before people go before you attend reinvent you can definitely we have a free version on the AWS marketplace and it you can back up to 10 instances with no charge. So if you're wanting to learn more about Veeam Backup for AWS or even with VBR, they have a free version as well. And you can test us out there and get your yeah, hands you on the product. Go, yeah, you can also go on our website. We have some white papers and, and uh, great blog posts about uh, our products, you know, Veeam Backup for AWS and integrations with VBR, et cetera. Okay. Excellent. Well, Kelsey and uh, and Julia, thank you for uh, for giving us this sneak peek um, into uh, into what to expect at, at reInvent and uh, and how to to meet with Veeam there. Uh, really appreciate your time today. Of course, it was a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. Of course. Okay, and uh, we do have one more uh, thing to talk about here today, and that is the two hundred fifty dollars Amazon gift card. And the winner of that gift card today is Kaylin Kenodi from Texas. So congratulations to Kaylin Kenodi. We'll be in touch to get you your card. And with that, on behalf of the actual tech media team, I wanted to thank Veeam again for making this event possible. And thanks as always for attending and for your great questions. That's going to conclude today's event. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And if you're headed to, uh, to reInvent, have a great time. Take care.